Well hello everybody and welcome back to God Eater Resurrection. In the last episode, the whole first unit was taken down and now Soma, Coda, and Alyssa are infected with bias factors. So I gotta go on a mission with Window and Sakuya to get some things to help them. That much damage to me. Here we go, team. Stop gonna miss it. You're on me. The meds get out. Remember, for the kids. This is your walk in the park. And now it's running off. Eat this! This is our chance! Now we gotta run. You got nothing on me! Alright. Nice, baby! That's tough for you. You are just the best guy. It's kind of nice the three of us together again. Reminds me of when all this started. I guess it has been a while. That <laughs> went pretty well. Captain was just a kid then, and now leading the squad. Yeah. Oh, what a sight to see. True. Way to make me feel like an old man. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah! I'm, I'm kind of multitasking while doing this. Hey, welcome back. Okay. I'm gonna forget about doing burst because I'm kind of distracted, so doing that's kind of a waste for me right now. Ah, crap. Come on. Stop moving. I hate it when you do this. guys in on a little something, but I'm not going to let it on fully. All I'm going to say is I am seem to have gained some information. And it's just more drama in life as usual. Just hold on. Can you stand? Come with me. Life is just a bunch of drama and stuff like that. You hear one thing about someone, then the next you'll hear of news about them from somebody else. Just how life seems to go, you know. You're gonna be all I guess I'd better start trying. Let's put this thing down. Okay. 
come on back. Keep it together. Now you will know real. I mean, if I could actually hit something that would actually hurt it. Well. No way, no how. Alpha One has been rendered unconscious. Requesting immediate medical attention. I owe you one for this. Alpha One, you have got to be careful. Please. Eat this! Hell yeah! Oh, oh, well. Alpha one is incapacitated. Move to support. Don't you give no one fall for my one. Alpha one is not going to be Look at this guy already. Oh, oh you got it. Oh, works. No one falls on my watch. Come on, up and up. Alpha One, I don't know how much more you can take. Stop that. I'm not the kind of guy to make the same mistake twice. I can only take getting myself messed up one more time. Too slow. Clean slate. Oh, of course. You feeling that poison? Tear him off! That's all me! Hell yeah! I need to get out of the way before I get killed. I order you to fall back to heal. I order you! I'm still good! Fine! Are you kidding? Oh, whatever. Oh, you got it. Over. Oh, crap. No. Why? Oh, I had one of those. Why are my normal ones all the way back there? Oh, what are you talking about? Damn it. Hold up. This needs to be fixed. Why are these even... Why do I... Wait, why do I have... Oh, I... That has to be there for a reason, actually. Oh my god, I didn't know we were going to fight two. Or maybe I did. I need to do any damn attention. Oh, I need to be careful. Some of a, well, you know what? I guess we're not saving those for anything now. Uh, stuff like that I would probably use on like a final boss. That's not happening now. Oh, 
Oh, what? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Guess I'll be back when I'm done with that. That's bull crap. I don't even know what the hell just happened. Whatever. Well, it's the plain truth. Leading a unit is not for the faint of heart. Am I right? Wake up one day with a promotion, and suddenly all those people, all those lives, are your responsibility. But at the end of the day, kid, you're not meant to be a miracle worker. You're meant to do some good where you can. Everyone seems to forget the captain's already got a handful with their own lives. <laughs> Sooner or later, though, you'll find yourself with a hand free, and that's when you reach out to help someone else. Part of the job. Point being, there ain't no time for brooding in this job. <laughs> Your team, they're still alive. Isn't that enough for now? Our ride should be here any minute, you two. We're ready and waiting, baby. I, uh, I guess I probably could have taught you this stuff before. I know I left without giving you the big speech. How an officer is supposed to make decisions, survive, lead the team, that sort of thing. Anyway, I figured I'd pop in and give you a little touch of advice, huh? Make your life a little easier. On that note, it's about time for the chopper to get here. I am starving. And what does a guy have to do to get a cold brew? Okay, well now what are we supposed to do? Ah, go fight this thing. Oh, we're gonna take Sakuya, Cannon. Actually, it goes like this. I can't really get any scenes with her right now, and I'm also wondering if she has any scenes at all. Because when I just did all those missions I had to do, she was only getting two star things. I didn't see a single three star. And in the little base camp you do for survival missions, she just stands there in her normal pose. She doesn't do anything. I feel like they like looks like she was just thrown in here last second, you know? And did I ever ask how old she was? I think she's eleven, twelve? Probably twelve, I don't know. Alright. Well, mission start whenever you're ready. <laughs> um I'll do my best. I mean I can be good. I think. I just... maybe we should go. Alright, let's fight again. Oh, this one's the guitar version. I like the normal version of Tearing Up the Storm, but I also like this guitar version. It's much more epic. Damn, I'm gonna actually go down before doing this. Also, with the fa- oh my god. With the failure. I'm gonna actually die before doing anything. I'm actually dead. Man, I was gonna say how last mission I actually did it a lot better than the first time. This mission. I suck already. Son of a. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Should probably change some of my predator stuff at some point. But I've never really found the need to. I'm actually okay with all the ones I got. And for some, a part of me thinks I'm gonna be keeping the strawberry shortcake till a freaking final cutscene.
there are different weapons that are better in one perimeter. I like them to be better in both, equal it out sometimes, you know? That went pretty well. Ow, dang it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after I beat God Eater, because man, I'm bored. Like recently, like, all I do now without recording is either finish up the missions I have to do here, or I'm just trying to platinum games that I will give the time to platinum. Because I'm not gonna platinum a game that has a difficulty where, uh, it's gonna screw me over completely. Like, I'm not, like, the evil then. I know I did it for Uncharted. But the, those other difficulties were extra, they weren't needed. And like I did for The Last of Us, they wasn't needed either. But those are ones I completed before and know I could do. Hell, I never thought I would be Uncharted with it, but it, the evil within, at least the first one, I would never, ever try that. I hate the first one with a passion. I tried Nightmare, and just once I saw the differences in enemies, and different enemies in a place, I'm just, no. Oh my god. And then there goes the controller. Jeez, man. It's like a normal thing. Compilation of my controller dying on me, too. Oh, thank you, Cam. Saving me a lot from death this time. She's the best one when Alyssa is in here. What else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, so I'll try platinuming games where they have difficulties that are just too much. I ain't gonna bother. Or I'll platinum or some games that I've been playing for a while already. I'm just getting so bored of it, I just can't play it anymore. Like, Sword Art games, like the really old, like, first one. Like, just the super, super grindy ones. Like, I platinum Fatal Bullet and Lost Song, but... Uh, we haul Fragment, Hall Realization, and, uh... Ex Excel World versus Sword Art Online I can't do. Too much grinding and I don't even want to bother with it. But some games that I am... Some games I'll just look at it like, yeah, I'll go after all the collectibles now or uh, finish up with these trophies. The hardest trophy for me with Dying Light right now is going to be the one of trying to complete five quests in co-op with the same three partners. Because Dying Light is like, what, four years old? But I mean, because of the hype for the second one, maybe people will still be playing the first one. But I don't know. That trophy is going to be difficult for me. It, it's going to probably prevent me from getting Platinum or not. But after that, I don't know what other games I could try platinuming. So that would mean that I don't really have anything to do. I mean, I could if I... Well, that's also the thing, too. If I have God Eater finished, I don't really have any other... Play, any other games to really do much of a playthrough on. There are DLCs for games, but... Some DLCs I don't want to bother with, or they're just DLCs for games I'm bored of. And it's just hard for me to figure something out. That's why I usually would just look around at new games, get them out on their deals, when usually it's always with my parents saying, make sure you do those chores to do yours. And I'm like, I already do. And they're like, well, yeah, don't forget it. And they usually say, my mom will usually say, don't ask for anything else for a while then. And I'll... Of course I do ask later on the usual because of course we're not rich. But still, I still get my way it seems. And I appreciate that. Or you know, I just get the free games of the month for PlayStation or a game that my friends uh actually I mean I could do Far Cry 3. I, I haven't I did that but didn't finish it at all. I'm still in the very beginning. But it's either getting a game for free, 
or getting one from my friends, or you know, just getting one, or just coming up with completely new video ideas to uh, take the time. And I know for a fact I'd have to wait like a year for God Eater 2 to be on sale, but I'm probably just gonna buy it with whatever money I get for like Christmas next year or my birthday. Which, while well, I just wait a couple extra months. But Dying Light 2 will come out next year, and Borderlands 3... Actually, Borderlands 3 and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint is coming out soon, and Winston's thinking of getting that for Borderlands 3. So there's that. Good. Glad. Ooh. This is the one thing with want needing a partner in here, is to make it a bit easy, but also to freaking talk about something during these repetitive missions. I still like the game though, really. But it's the same thing over and over again. I gotta talk to you guys about something, because I don't think you're all here to just right, watch the fight, now. the same fights over and over again. <sighs> Alright, the save data. Only went down twice or three times during that mission. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, all about Shio. Now I'm sure I have to go here, right? Yeah. Ah, I didn't expect you so soon. Back to work so soon? I'm... I'm sorry. This is my fault. Everyone in this hospital is here because of me. Don't beat yourself up over it. Enough. I don't... I don't want you to pity me. If I hadn't let this happen, if I just dealt with it on my own, I never should have involved you all in my mistakes. <sighs> I'm not the God-eater you are. Everyone knows. I don't delude myself, but still. The Nova, it's my responsibility. At least I thought it was. The sins of the Father become the sins of the sun. And when the Nova got loose, I saw it arrayed before me again. That sin dragged out for all to see. Or maybe a chance to bury it forever. Looks like that choice has been made for me, hasn't it? I'm sorry. I've taken too much of your time with my self-loathing. There is one more thing, however. That girl, the one that looks like She's been sighted around the den a few times. Dr. Sakaki and I brainstormed a few theories and came up with a solid reason as to why she's here, as to who she is. The best guess we have is that she was born from an artificial Nova fragment. While it fought with us or other Aragami, weak pieces of the Nova may have shattered, some of its oracles seeping into the ground. Its ability to activate and ignite oracle cells may have drawn the pieces together and, in a way, formed that girl. She's so fragile. Like glass or snow. No core. No heart. Why would it take that shape? Right. That's right. It is only a small piece of theory, but I think I understand why she appears. It's the moon. She appears like the tides, all surrounding the wax and wane of the moon. Once, they were all the same. All part of one Aragami. The Nova that resides there, and the one loose here. And the girl. Let me say this once, and we'll leave it at that. That girl, whatever she... It may be. It's not Shio. Just a rogue element that the Nova absorbed. Some fragment of a fragment that makes it appear like her. But it's not Shio. Thank you for coming to see me. I'll be ready to enter the field again tomorrow. Farewell. Right. So 
Soma's really gonna stop blaming himself for a lot of this. It says no visitors allowed. Of course. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hey there, Arena. Hmm. Yeah. Another mission. One of those things. Oh crap, there's two of them. Ugh. Well, let's get to it. Always back to work. All about a young girl. I kind of find it funny that it's only now here in the third arc that you get like a bunch of little uh, dialogue options. Yet, you know they don't really mean much. You see, um, there was this one guy I was playing with who I don't I can't show it right now I'll probably have to show it in the next episode because I'm sure this one's close to its end but he was oh he was really fast like he moved at the speed of freaking the light when I played with him and he was the one guy who had perfect connection with just perfect he had no issues at all and um, he was, he used a spear, and he was like doing these freaking crazy backflips, and he just moved so quick. And I later asked him, I said, um, how the heck do you move so quick? Or, no, I said, wow, you move quick. And he said, well, he did a LOL, wow, a short boy telling me that? And I'm like... In my head, I didn't say this, but just in my head, I'm like, wait, short plays are supposed to be fast? I basically just said, oh, I'm not that great at the game, so. But I don't really know how fast we are, because I don't use any other weapons, so I wouldn't really notice either. Oh! Ow. I guess this is it then. But yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. I just prefer short blades. That's like the only weapon I use because, I mean, it's just the giant, huge weapons here. I'm just looking at them like, no, I don't really want that. But then again, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you need to use those weapons because they actually help you out. But I'm also still using a short blade for a trophy, which is use the same equipment for like 500 missions. And I've done that for about 300 last I checked. And that was very recently. Let's freaking kill this thing. Oh crap. Let's just hope the other one doesn't get over here before we kill it. I don't want it. What'll help, Cannon? Annette? Sakuya? Yeah. Somebody? I'll give you my strawberry shortcake. Okay. Stop moving. Where are you going? Oh, don't go the long way. Okay, it's not going the long way. Yeah, this was just a bad idea. We need to put this thing down already. If the other one hurt us, that shit. I guess. I guess this is it then. 
This is exactly what I didn't want to happen.